full stop, all of parity. You know when you have all of parity, when you have one or three of the edges facing up. Right now I have one facing up, meaning I have the parity. On two by on three by three, you will always have two or four edges facing up. If you have three or one, that means your your cube is like broken. You broke it up then. So yeah, be aware of that. If you have two or four edges facing up on a four by four, that means you don't have all of parity. So this is how you do it. And now I only have two facing up, and I got this preserved. So I don't have parity anymore, so I could go on with how I solve solve this. Right, and um, another thing to be aware of is PLO parity. Is when you have two, two of the, of the edges swapped. So, let me solve this real quick. So, you will never get this once again on 3x3 because like it doesn't happen on 3x3 you gotta put these two edges in the right place on 4x4 and if you get an odd number of times that you put them basically opposite you will get all the parity and uh, same could go with PLO parity so once again if you have two of them swapped on 3x3 then you kind of broke it and you gotta fix it but on 4x4, four four, you will always um, know if you have OLO parity, I mean PLO parity, when you don't recognize the L or when you have these two swapping. So it goes like this. I'll do this. Pretty simple. Uh, okay, uh, one way to recognize if you have PLO parity. Let me show you if you're beginners and use my beginner tutorial. And right here I have one. Let me hold it here. Oh look, I got two. These two need to swap, but that's impossible if you're doing that on three by three. That means you have PLO parity. So you do the algo like so. And you basically like sell it again from what you were just doing. And then you're not gonna run into the problem again. So let me show you, you got one here. Let me do it from here. And look, I got all of them now instead of these two needing to swap. 